Most regrettably, I was right. Loki sucks. Now, I know this is a little late. Uh, I wanted to take my time before I put this video together. And it won't be a long one, because uh, I, I, I know I already did some Loki bashing, and, and this is not strictly a Loki bashing channel, and, and we've all kind of moved on to the next thing. Um, but as we look back, I, I wanted to put all the pieces together and, and just think about it, and I w was waiting for some additional news to come out, because I, I suspected some things would go on behind the scenes that we weren't real clear on. So why don't we look at a couple articles, and I'll, I'll show you why Loki sucks, and uh, maybe we can all come to a consensus and going forward, maybe we can get the Loki we wanted and we can get, you know, Tom Hiddleston back on track. It's not his fault, but let's take a look. So shocking news, Loki director and the, the showrunner, Kate Heron is not returning for season two. She's also not, she wasn't even sure there was going to be a season two. According to her, you know, she says, I'm not returning. I just I always plan to just be on this. And to be honest, Susan, season two wasn't in the. That's something that just came out, and I'm so excited. I'm happy to watch it as a fan next season, but I just think I'm proud of what we did here, and I've given it my all. I'm working on some other stuff yet to be announced. Let's just look at this. Season two wasn't in the. Wasn't in the what? Wasn't in the cards wasn't in the script so you didn't know that there was going to be a season two so they just added that and uh, what are you kidding me like come on we know there's something so if she did such an amazing job on on this show and it was so hugely popular tell me why the director and the showrunner's not coming back that seems a little unusual that usually seems to be a project that they're going to stick with now let's go a little bit further down the rabbit hole when I Googled uh, Loki ratings, obviously it's on Disney Plus, so we're not going to see ratings, right? Nielsen's been trying to capture streaming ratings, but we're not 100% sure here. But what's funny is one of the first questions that came up is, why is the Loki series so bad? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kind of amusing that, you know, as we're talking about this, people are like, why is this so bad? It's just not good. So let's go down the memory hole and we'll remember some of those amazing moments about Loki that we find why it's, it's such a bad show. Now, again, I think there's a good show in here. I think there's something to be pulled out of it. But there's a couple of things that I I'm going to show you, and then I'll describe how the show could have been better, right? Remember this from the Avengers? I don't know. It's been a long time, people. We haven't seen this movie. It's been like 10 years since we've seen the Aven Avengers movies. Remember when Loki literally had to... He was fighting the Avengers, and they're, all the Avengers are, are after him. It took all of the Avengers to get him. Do you remember how when he was captured, they had to put a mouth guard in him because they were afraid of what he would say? They even showed that in the beginning of this th this season when he's when he steals the Tesseract. He has a mouth guard in because they don't want him saying anything because he's the trickster. He convinces people with lies. Did you see him trick anybody in this show? He didn't trick anybody. But do you see this? This right here is Loki being guarded by like 20 men. 20 men they were that afraid of him they felt that he was that big of a threat that they needed 20 men in him you know what didn't happen they had him um it, there's a part in the in the show where he's complaining that only two people are guarding him and there's four guarding female loki female loki is so much better than him literally female loki it, it, it just doesn't make any sense it's absolute just tr trash Remember the people from the TVA? They're all, spoilers, variants. They're all just regular people. So you're telling me two regular hu humans can hold back Loki, who's a god? Come on, people. What's going on here? Let's look back. Oh, yes. Remember, she's being held by, you know, all these people. Yet our Loki, the weakest Loki, 
who cowers in fear behind her, has no powers. Do you remember what was exciting for us? I know what was exciting. In fact, there were two episodes I did like. I liked the first episode and I liked the fifth episode. And why did I like the fifth episode? Because of this guy. This guy, what was his name? Uh, I forget. But we'll, we can look it up again. He uh, shows up in episode five. He's classic Loki. Classic Loki is brilliant. He's absolutely awesome. And why was he a showstopper? Why did everybody lo like him? Well, because he had powers and he said, he delivered cool lines and wasn't scared of everything and, and did a lot of cool stuff. People uh, were not... You know, that's the Loki we wanted to see. That's not the Loki that we got. Richard E. Grant was the character, or the actor, who was amazing, absolutely amazing. He's conjuring also, you know, he's con he's conjuring a grand illusion of, um, you know, the Rainbow Road, and he's 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 getting uh, the, the, the dragon thing, the ghost dragon thing, whatever its name was, Antithor, whatever it was called. Uh, he, he was, you know, distracting that thing. And of course, what does he say at the end? You know, he says, glorious purpose. You know, I liked the, I liked the, the alligator Loki was cool. I liked all the Loki variants. You know what we didn't get? We got bait and switch though. We got, um, oh, it's Eliath is the thing that he went after. Anyway, we got a Loki, President Loki, who didn't do anything but gets his hand chomped off. That, you know. It was a lot of bait and switch and set up and fails, right? They just didn't set anything up properly. You know, remember some funny moments in Loki? What was funny? Yeah, hilarious that Loki gets kicked in the nuts for 30 straight minutes. Yeah, that was hilarious. I'm still laughing right now, if you can't tell. Anyway, I, I just think the show fell short of expectations. They didn't give Tom Hiddleston a lot to work with. Even there, why is he still wearing his TVA suit? He has an amazing costume. That was what was great about some of the seeing the classic Loki costume. Why is he still in a suit and, and tie? Why? What was the point of that? What are you doing? So let's just talk about he who shall, who he who remains, or as we will know him in the future, Kang. Imagine this. First of all, I, I like that actor, but here you literally have this guy. He's eating an apple in half of his dialogue. How is that professional? Or like, I can't understand him. You know what else he did in the show? He dubbed in the voices for the, the three lizards, for the three timekeepers that weren't real. Guess what I couldn't understand when I watched the show? They're gobbledygooker. He was mumbling the whole time. He must have had an apple in his mouth then too. So here you have this actor delivering his lines with an apple. It's hard, you know, Loki goes back to the TVA and says, oh, he's terrifying. What part of him's terrifying? The part where he's eating an apple? You kidding me? Right? So, imagine this though. They go and, and meet this guy at the end of the universe. And he says to them, do you know everything that I have sacrificed to get here? All of the lives, the life he could have had, the lives he's ended, everything that he's seen and done to ensure that the one singular timeline stays sacred. He's literally a man alone in time, by himself, nothing to console him, nothing, you know, a man completely abandoning the world so that he could survive outside of time and make sure that, that the Kangs he was afraid of wouldn't come to be. Doesn't that sound compelling? Doesn't that sound like a speech someone should give? No, we got Apple Mumble Guy. Apple mumble guy. And now there's, of course, they bait us with fan, fan theories, right? And that's what's really going wrong with this, with the show, with these, all these Marvel shows is the fan theory thing. It started with WandaVision and it keeps getting worse. And now people are trying to sync up WandaVision with the end of, uh, with the end of Loki, which sounds like it might be a cool idea. Maybe it's a cool concept that Scarlet Witch is the key, but that redefines all time or whatever. But you've done nothing to plant that seed. And now it's just fan theories and the fans are just getting crazy and coming up with anything they can. Cause I did watch it and I don't think it really sinks as well as people think it does. You know, the writing articles about it and all sorts of jazz. Anyway, my point is Loki sucks. I'm ashamed and saddened by this. 
I really wish it was better. I really like the actors and they just gave them, I mean, it was mostly standing and talking. The entire last episode was, let's stand in front of a door and talk. Just for the door to open, for us to walk inside and then talk again. And then a man comes up from an elevator and we'll talk to him in the elevator so that we can go and stand in front of his desk and talk. And then he'll invite us to sit down where we can talk, but then we'll stand up again and talk. I mean, that's the entire final episode. And granted, I didn't want any CGI like battle fest or anything like that, but please, could you have done anything more interesting than that, than just dump nonsensical exposition on us? So that's all there is for me. I just figured with a little bit of time and us reflecting on this, that this was a bad show. I, I don't know if I'm going to watch season two at this point. Um, but if you uh, decide you like this, make sure you catch our live show. We do have a live stream for our full length audio podcast, which you can download anywhere that you can find any sort of podcast, whether it be iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, all those nice places. Our live stream is 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to catch us there where you can interact live and uh, we'll take your jokes and we'll have some, a lot of good fun and talk and we have giveaways and all sorts of jazz. So um, from all of us here at Our Views Will Kill You to all of y'all at home, we love y'all. And I am on to the next one.